Unlocking the mystery, put the kibosh on. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a peculiar and intriguing phrase that you might have come across, put the kibosh on. It's a phrase that packs a punch with its history and usage, and we're here to unravel its secrets together. So, let's get started and find out what it really means to put the kibosh on something. To put the kibosh on something means to put an end to it, stop it, or prevent it from happening. It's a way of saying that you're halting a process, quashing a plan, or effectively putting a stop to any activity or idea. This phrase is often used in informal settings, and understanding its use can add a quirky edge to your English communication. The exact origin of put the kibosh on is a bit of a mystery, with several theories floating around. Some suggest it comes from the Irish word kaipen, meaning cap, or hood, used metaphorically to refer to a finishing stroke. Others believe it might have roots in Yiddish or even Cockney slang. Despite the uncertainties, what's clear is that this phrase has been part of English vernacular since the early 19th century, showing the dynamic and evolving nature of the language. Understanding how to use, put the kibosh on, in context can significantly boost your fluency and comfort with English. Here are a few examples. The rain put the kibosh on our picnic plans. Here, the rain stopped the picnic from happening. Management put the kibosh on the idea of working from home. In this case, management stopped or ended the possibility of working from home. I had to put the kibosh on my weekend trip because I got sick. This means the speaker had to cancel their trip due to illness. When using, put the kibosh on, remember, it's best suited for informal contexts. While it's a colorful expression, it might not be appropriate for formal writing or speeches. Pair it with scenarios that involve ending, stopping, or canceling something. Practice using it in sentences to get comfortable with its connotation and usage. And that wraps up our exploration of put the kibosh on. We hope this video has shed some light on this quirky phrase, enriching your English vocabulary and helping you sound more like a native speaker. Don't hesitate to put this expression into practice, but remember, not literally on our videos. If you found this useful, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating English language insights. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.